all you actually need to do, if you're doing this right, is to put your flight path vector on the aim off mark and keep it there. The rest should take care of itself. Now, when I say do it right, that does imply a few things. The first of which is that you have to pick the right aiming point. And the most important part of that process is picking a point that is directly beyond the target, by which I mean that the bomb fall line that runs from the aim point to the pipper has to pass through the target. Now, this is reasonably easy to do when you have a HUD, and if you screw it up, it's reasonably easy to fix. But you really want to practice getting it right, because when you have to start doing this without a HUD, like in the A4, or the F5, or yes, the F4E, when it arrives, you will not have the luxury of having a bomb fall line on screen.